So normally I would ask you to integrate this. Uh, normally I would say integrate this, press pause and have a go. But for this one it's quite tough. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Um, so in this video we're going to try and integrate this. So to integrate this, um, try to visualize it like this. You see, if you try to differentiate this, if you try to differentiate this, um, so, so here you've got uh, natural log or whatever in here. Uh, if you try to differentiate this, you would get 1 over the bubble and then you've got to times the derivative of the bubble itself. The derivative of the bubble itself would be, uh, would be, uh, cos, uh, cos of x. And then, uh, and then don't forget, this bubble here is, is sign here. So, so when you differentiate this, this gets multiplied to the top, giving you, giving you this. Giving you this. So the point here is that, um, the point here is that, wait there, the point here is that you're trying to integrate this whole thing. Uh, visualize as one thing multiplying another at the moment. That's what you've got. If you try to differentiate this, if you try to differentiate, if you try to differentiate this, you would get, um, you, you would get one over the bubble and then times the derivative of the bubble itself. So now this gets multiplied to the top, giving you this. Well, this, don't forget, well, this is cot, uh, is cotangent of, um, of x. So, so when you differentiate this, you will get this. So if you want to integrate it, you would go the other way. But the point here is that you are trying to integrate this whole thing here. Just remember, when you're trying to integrate something, always try to keep an eye out on, on something being the exact derivative of another thing. You see, this thing here is the exact derivative of this thing here. So, hang on. So, so just bear in mind that when you, when you differentiate this, you will get this. And, and, and then always know that, always keep an eye out on something being the exact derivative of another thing. This here is the exact derivative of this. So, hang on. So knowing that it's the exact derivative, um, hang on. So, so here, this thing here is the exact is the exact derivative of this. So, uh, so if that's the case, then let u equals this. Then du equals equals this, and then uh, and then rearrange it to make dx a subject. So dx equals this thing here. If you put this into the dx here, if you put the u into this into this into this complicated thing here, then 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 later this cot here will cancel out with with this cot here. So, so if you put this into the dx, put the u into here, then, uh, then this whole thing here will become this. Then, uh, then, then this whole thing here will then become this. Okay, so, so, uh, so put this into here, uh, put the u into here, so, so that's the u there. Uh, well, the, 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 the point is that this is going to cancel out with this, giving you this. So now integrate this. And it will give you this, and then uh, and then earlier we said let u equals whatever. So you you put the whatever back into the u here, giving you this. So this is your final answer. Okay.